Hello, this is Vern, and on today's episode, I'm going to help you get past your fear and anxiety and pain that comes from ghosting. So stick with me. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com, space where I share with conscious, ambitious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the man you want, step into the best relationship of your life so far without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, crazy techniques, as a result of you being the best version of you. Now, so many women these days fear ghosting, and if you've experienced this recently, then you know what I'm talking about. It's not fun, it's painful for the most part. And part of the reason why it's painful is because there is, a, in my mind, a bad definition for it. Most women experience ghosting as the painful experience of having an awesome guy disappear on them. When in reality, if you think about it, if you take two steps back, maybe, just maybe, it's the blessing of a clear end to a guy who isn't a fit for you and a relationship that was in a different space than you thought it was. It's clarity, it's power. <laughs> so if you think about it, m most human beings, when they experience the reality of ghosting, first of all, it's a heavy term, ghosting. I mean, I hate the term, just I'll be honest with you, but beyond that, because it it really assumes that something bad happened when maybe, just maybe, this is the best thing that's happened to you in some time. So here's a few steps you can assume, step into, practice, if you want to stop having this fear of ghosting or the reality of ghosting, so much power over your life. The first one is stop taking it personal. Personally, right? Why? Because if a guy doesn't have the insight, the kindness, the compassion, the education, the manners, to let you know what's going on and simply chooses to vanish with no warning whatsoever, that says way more about him than it says about you. But if you step into some idea that it's your fault that this guy doesn't have the testicular fortitude to let you know what's going on, then you're going to suffer as a result of it. So that's the first step. Stop taking it personally. Second one, please, and, and I need you to make a quick step on this one, recognize projection versus reality. An amazing man stopped connecting with you is painful. A guy that you thought was amazing stopped connecting with you. That's more like what happened, right? Because for you to feel in pain about someone without really knowing that this is part of what he does says a lot about how much you've projected about him, especially if it's early on, especially if he, ha if he hasn't been months, it's just been weeks or maybe a month or maybe two months. That just tells you you don't know him well enough. You don't know him well enough especially because you never expected that he would do so, such a thing, and he did. So obviously there's more, you fill in the gaps in terms of how great he is without really knowing him. So recognize projection versus reality, step number two. Step number three, put an end to the stories. You know what, it's exciting and punchy and makes you filled up with <laughs> a lot of intensity. Think about all the greatness he would have, I mean, think about he was the best guy that ever come into your life who disappeared. Think about uh, the children you could have had together. Think about all the plans that you never got to accomplish with him. That will create intensity, but of the bad kind. So put an end to the stories. Whenever you are inclined to create intensity in your mind through an endless loop of possibles, what ifs, just recognize that there's better ways for you to get excited better ways for you to feel intensity and just choose to put an end to it. Just say, I'm going to stop thinking about this dude. I'm going to think about something else. Go all in on you. Go all in on what you want to experience. Go all in on your quest for someone who has a greater degree of ethics in his connection with you. Number four, recommit. It's time to recommit to the kind of partner you want. Why? Because you, you want a guy when he's facing some challenges that he has the courage to say, here's what's going on. You want for a guy who's really pissed at you for some reason to say, that upset me. You want for a guy who feels, if in any way he feels you wronged him, to have the kindness to say, I didn't experience that uh, as a powerful thing. Can we change the way we connect? Can we change this thing or that wasn't too kind? If you recommit to that, then the guy who doesn't do that is no longer a fit. Also, when I ask you to recommit to the kind of partner you want, I also want you to recommit to the kind of partner you want to be. And here's why I share this, because if in any way, small, medium, or large way, you are also doing this ghosting thing, you're also not kind enough to, to tell a guy you don't no longer want to connect with, 
that you don't want to connect with them and you're just letting him message you text after text and not saying, dude, like, I can't do this, then you're part of the problem, not the solution. So recommit to both, the kind of partner you want and the kind of partner you want to be. Step number five. If I were to emphasize something exclusively on this video, it would be this. Don't pursue him. You'll only make it worse. If you notice that the guy is pulling back, he's not really paying attention, he was calling you, texting you every day, now he disappeared for three weeks, and just don't stop pursuing the dude. Don't, don't remind him of your existence in such a way that he needs to maybe remember that you were great and, and you're selling him on how awesome you guys could be together. I understand, if you genuinely feel like something happened to him, reach out and say, hey, are you okay? But if it's not that, if it's something beyond that, if you know that the dude is just playing hot and cold with you, then don't pursue him. He will make it worse. He will have more power over you. <laughs> he will be less likely to go all in and figure out how to create a connection with you. Number six, get on the horse again, as quickly as you can. Whenever you've experienced the pain of something that you thought was great, but really wasn't great, and the proof that it wasn't great is that the dude didn't have the <laughs> the kindness to let you know that he didn't want to connect with you, that shows you that you were in some kind of illusion, then get on the horse again. That reality you experience doesn't mean it's gonna have to, you have to re-experience it again and again. And if you do experience it again in some way, just remember, it's not a bad thing. You're letting, he's letting you know with his actions sooner rather than later that he's not a fit for you. Get on the horse, Start continue dating, continue connecting with guys, continue setting boundaries, and continue being the partner you want to attract in your life. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. On the first link in the description of this video, I've created a training that can help you with more specificity than this small video to create the kind of relationship you want and to attract the man you want into your life. All you have to do is enter your name and email and start watching that class right away. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up Subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos as they come out. And if you're watching this and you're saying, you know what, I like the videos, I like the training that I'm receiving right now, but I need more. I need hand-holding, I need help, I need accountability. Uh, second link in the description will allow you to apply to work with me to help you get what you want with a lot more speed. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.